or anchor links on your website. And the best way to, to show how that works is if we go to a page that has um, a long content. So in this example, we're going to do a menu, and you have a long list of items that you want to um, display on your website, but you don't want maybe to have somebody to scroll down to see everything. What you can do is, is set up links that someone can click on that will then drop them down to the appropriate sections on the pages below. So in this example, the first thing you'd want to do is create your anchors. Um, that's the point in which when somebody clicks on the link, it drops down to. So for each section here, I'm going to go ahead and create an anchor tag. Um, you can do either two ways. You can just click in front and click on the anchor. And it's going to ask you to name your anchor. So in this case, I'm just going to name um, the first word that's in here. So we're going to call this starters. Um, it's usually try to good to keep it, you know, somewhat organized so that way you remember because you're going to have to remember the anchor name itself when you're creating the links. So we're just going to scroll down to this one and name this soups, and then so on. You can also highlight the word to make it an anchor as well. And, and there's no right or wrong with that. Um, it's whatever you preference. Again, I usually just click in front. You'll see it just drops the anchor in. Now, the anchor icon that you're seeing here um, does not display on the live end of your site. You'll only see this in builder mode. And we'll just do the last one here. Okay, so now we've created our anchors. And you can see all the anchors just by the little icon here. If you forget what you've typed in there, say you create your anchors one day, but it's going to be two or three days, days later before you do your link, you can always just click on the little anchor box here. It'll highlight this anchor up here. And you click on here, and it's going to show you the name of your anchor. So now to set your links, if you're going to be on the same page as in this example, all the items are on the same page, all you have to do is highlight the word, go up to your links like you're going to create a link. But instead of selecting existing page, you're just going to type in pound sign and then the name of your anchor. So in this case, we're just doing pound sign and the word starters. And we'll do the same for salad. Let me just make sure what I named it. Soups. So same thing again. You just highlight anchor pound sign and the name of the anchor. And just these last two. And that way if you do misspell it, you can always go back and, and just fix it here. All right, so now that we've created our, our links, we first we created our anchors, and then we created the links that will go to the anchors. To see how this works, we're just going to save our work and then view this in live mode. And again, you do not see the anchor tags itself in live mode. But if I click on it, you'll see it took me right to the top of the word starters. And this is more evident when you start going to pages that are further down, or anchors that are further down. So we click soup and salad. If we click on sandwiches, it takes you to the sandwiches and so on. So that's how you can do anchors within the page itself. If you wanted to, um, say for example, over here, um, have an anchor to a specific point on another page, what you do is you go back in, go to the page that you want to create the, the anchor itself, or not the anchor itself, the anchor's already been created on the other page. So we're going to highlight the word salads, click on the link. And in this case, we're going to 